My name is Michael Reese. I'm Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Studies in the School of Public Health on the Bloomington campus of Indiana University. This school has a rich history over 60 years as the School of Health, Physical Education, and Recreation. We were the first school of that kind in the country. And over time, it's become clear that we need to become a school of public health if we want to seriously address the public health challenges that we face in states like Indiana and around the country. We're not your old grandfather's school of hyper. Uh, we're also not your grandfather's school of public health. I think this is really a new, innovative, uh, effective way of looking at public health issues in a, in a completely multidisciplinary fashion. This School of Public Health enables Indiana University to have a significant impact on the health status of our state and the economic stability of the state that's impacted by health-related costs. Epidemiology is the basic science that you find in every school of public health. It's really the basic science for public health. Dr. Kahi is one of the nation's most renowned epidemiologists in particular. He's a nutritional epidemiologist who has published work on some of the most important topics that relate people's nutritional behavior to the, their long-term health outcomes. And he's just a perfect example of, I think, the potential that this school has to attract new, talented individuals who will really push our school uh, forward in some exciting ways. What Dr. He's research does is it really blends the fields of nutrition and understanding how bodies metabolize elements that are in their natural environment and those things, how combined with behavior, may increase or decrease one's risk of stroke. A large body of uh, epidemiological and clinical evidence suggests that magnesium intake may reduce the risk of a stroke. So we wonder whether um, the trace element status, including magnesium, can at least partially explain the stroke build. I hope that my work can help us better understand how dietary and environment factors jointly affect the human health and eventually contribute to disease prevention. My hope about this is that for the Bloomington campus, the School of Public Health will be seen as a significant contributor to our local area, both economically, healthcare related, and socially, and that people will really understand that this university is not just doing great things around the world, but we're doing them right here in our own backyard as well.